Welcome to SBC Network's PTI show. I'm your host, Drew Rilio, here with Alan and Morgan. And in week four of the NFL season, the Bears and the Lions will face off. And uh, Morgan's going to be telling us why the Bears are going to win, and Alan's going to be telling us why the Lions will win. So, uh, Alan, why don't you start off? Well, the Lions are going to have one of the best offensive lines in the NFL, which I think will be more than a match for Khalil Mack and Roquan Smith. We also have a good running back, uh, DeAndre Swift. We also have gotten a free agent acquisition in Jamal Williams, who's also proven to be a pretty solid talent. Uh, wide receiver position, we got Khalif Raymond, Rashad Perriman, both speedsters. Perriman had 505 yards receiving last year for 30 receptions. And I will remind you that when the Lions do play the Bears in Chicago, we always play them tough. So there's no reason in my mind that we should lose this game. Morgan? See, my argument against that is that we have a new stunning quarterback who I believe is going to be a face of a franchise one day, and I hope that day is sooner, and I believe that day will be sooner. And with our defense that has always been consistent and amazing and great, I think that is more than enough to carry us through a win. We've also got top wide receivers. Darnell Mooney's set to have an, a breakout year. Allen Robinson's is going to have to be great as always. And then we have solid backups. Anthony Miller, to name Jim Graham, even our tight ends like Jim Graham, Colt Met. Those are two really good receiving targets. And I just think that the Lions just aren't up to snuff to what the Bears can do this year and just shout problem is with you know you, you say you have a good defense but last time I checked when we played you guys especially in Chicago we hung about 30 points on you and in Detroit we put 23 up on you so I dispute that claim that you have a good defense you have a very strong defense indeed but it's a very beatable defense as Detroit has proven but I go into the back to go into the defense point I mean Roquan Smith just keeps improving year after year Cleo Mack is a always a consistent contender and, and on the line and everywhere. Akeem Hicks is still an elite defender in my opinion. I, I still believe it's one of the best. And I just think that our secondary can hold up with what, what the Lions can dish out, especially now with the removal of Kenny Galladay. Uh, and they uh, lost Marvin Jones and Stafford too. So this is like the three uh, highest offensive pieces. However, you, you forget, I'm gonna take you back to what you said about Roquan Smith. We have the perfect offensive line to combat those guys. You look at Frank Ragnow, an all-pro center. Penny Sewell, who will be a very top-tier offensive lineman, in my opinion. Joe Dahl has proven himself to be a pretty good offensive lineman. And, oh, by the way, sure, we may not have Matthew Stafford, but Jared, Jared Goff is ain't, ain't no slouch either. I mean, he led the Rams to the Super Bowl. See what you want about the whole Nolan no-call thing, but he still led them to a Super Bowl and dang near beat the Patriots. So who's to say that he can't do special things in Detroit? That's true. I don't think we've seen Jared Goff's full potential yet. Uh, he did make it to the Super Bowl, but he did not put up any touchdowns, and they only scored three points in that Super Bowl. I'm with aware. Jared Goff at the helm. Yes, but when was the last time that Goff played in front of a solid offensive line? So last year. Sorry. That that is true. That I I will give you that, and I think that can that will definitely help him as a as a more pa as a passer, but. I still think that even with Justin Fields, who I believe will start as a dual threat QB, I don't think Jared Goff is the level of a dual threat QB that the that the Bears can't handle. I feel like Justin Fields will be in a, in a dual threat way that we that the Lions will have a tough time. And speaking of of running, David Montgomery looks absolutely elite, top five in rushing last year. I just don't. It's just can the Lions stop him? And the question is, absolutely. what the Lions? depleted defense as well. Do you think they're ready for Justin Fields? Yeah, we're ready for Justin Fields. I mean, look at who we have. We have a promising young talent in Charles Harris. We acquired Michael Brockers in a trade with the Rams. We got Derek Barnes, who was an All-American in the Big Ten last year. We got Ali McNeil, who was also a very solid defensive lineman. We got a new receiver, Amon Ross St. Brown, who is very flashy at USC. So, I think we're going to win this, and I think we're going to win it by at least 10 points. That's a pretty bold prediction. It is. Okay. I Just one one quick question before we continue. When was the last time the Lions beat the Bears? Last year. We played you guys <laughs> oh, yeah. in Soldier Field, <laughs> so we don't. Right. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> because right. your, quarterback, your running back couldn't hold on to a football. Hey. Oh. Hey. They, that was David Montgomery and his 
in his infancy at the point of the year. Yeah, After bro. that, did Montgomery cranked it up to it? It was mid December. It I don't <laughs> count that. As, I don't count that. I don't. You count don't that. count that. That was How does that not the count? season, my friend. <laughs> that was. That's that is, <laughs> how, no. Hear me that's out. pretty solidly. That's pretty far. That's pretty far in the season. Oh, no, by the hear way, hear me he's out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. So, I I consider David Montgomery. His last two games were easily his best games. Okay. Well, Great. that's not part that's of his last two wonderful. games. This isn't about that. I'm saying if he keeps going at the pace of his past two games, I don't think he'll be able to be stopped. I just okay. Just to chime in here, I think personally. I think the Bears are a little bit more talented than the Lions at the moment, but I wouldn't Thank be you. surprised if – that's not a compliment to the Bears. <laughs> You're right. It's not. It's more of a diss on the Lions. Uh, but, but I I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the Lions can surprise some well, people. And I'll add another thing. They were more talented than we were last year, and we still beat them. So. Yeah. It's just the lo- – I think the loss of your two best receivers is going to hurt you too much. And with the new quarterback – I'm not afraid of. I'm not afraid. Matt of, Stafford has been a staple of the Lions. Absolutely. Offense for how long has he been in the league? Uh, like 10 12 years. years. 12, 12 years. 12 years. 12 years. 12 years. And now he's gone, and you're working with him for a new quarterback. Jared, I'm not discounting Jared Goff. Jared, Jared Goff is, is an extremely talented quarterback, but does he have the synergy that Matt Stafford did That's with the Lions? Point. Well, yeah, but we have a new head coach, Dan Campbell. Some might call him a meathead. Which I, I honestly would get why, <laughs> but I call him I call him fiery. I mean, listen to what he said the uh, kneecap comment. He said it'll take one shot to take us down. When we get up, we're gonna bite a kneecap off. So it sounds like he's really making these players in it for the long run. And if they're not, he's telling them, hey, get out. Anybody who considers that biting a kneecap would be a bad idea, I wouldn't trust it. Would be a good idea. I don't trust it. Head coach, have you? Have you hit a kneecap before? Those things are hard. They hurt. Oh, yeah, Have you I tried know. biting a kneecap? No, I'm exactly. not that stupid. <laughs> See, that is my point exactly. It's a figure of speech. I let's let's bring this back to football. Yeah, please. Uh, but the, you do see it with Miami last year and the year before a little bit. They have a great head coach who's maybe not the most brilliantly – you know, brilliant head coach in the league. I think that goes to like Andy Reid or something like that. But he can really get his players going. Uh, you know, that's their the Miami team is not the most talented in the world, and they still held their own against a pretty tough I mean, AFC East. Yeah, and they, under they, their head coach. So they, they, I, you know, you can't dis you just can't discount can't the discount. fiery head coach, Justin Fields. Okay. What about him? Yes, yeah, single NFL. Not, it's that's great. Fields. That's wonderful. He's the best okay. Um, that okay. Okay. Bill Williams. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's okay, going to wrap that... up this uh, PTI uh, on the SBC network. Uh, I don't think we came to any definitive end to this debate, but uh, we'll see. We'll see in week four.